All right, our next guest knows a thing or two about a powerful story. Sam Rockwell played him in the film Frost Nixon. Very good movie, by the way. His latest work, a little bit more delicate. For more, I want to bring in the author of the new book, The 9-11, The 19th Hijacker, a novel of 9-11. James Reston is with us here on the show. James, nice to have you on. Thank you. Um, the 19th hijacker was encouraged by the co-chairman of the 9-11 Commission, which I found fascinating. Um, the motivation was basically to expose the motivations behind the terrorist attacks of 9-11. Um, does this get us closer to why did these attacks happen? Why did they attack us? Well, it, it gets you closer to one case, uh, the case of the terrorist pilot who brought the plane down in Shanksville, the Pennsylvania. He was the most interesting of the 19 uh, hijackers because primarily because he almost pulled out of the operation a month before 9-11. And that would have been a disaster from the standpoint of, of Al-Qaeda. So he was a character in, in conflict. So uh, I thought it was um, very useful and to me very fascinating to try to delve down into the into the basic motivations of this character, how he got recruited, how Islamic theology and his Islamic history may have been used in the recruitment process. Um, all of that had to be imagined, of course, because all the hijackers, uh, thank goodness, are dead. Uh, but um, I think there is some usefulness behind trying to tell a great uh, story uh, in understanding how these people were motivated because ultimately the question is how do we protect ourselves does the book make now? any conclusions about I, i've heard you say before um you're asking are you trying to prevent future attacks um the book gives us an idea of who these people actually were uh, and i think the the common notion is that these hijackers were all monsters where are you yes well well, certainly that has been the attitude of the American people uh, for the last 15 years, uh, certainly or maybe the last uh, 20 years for, for obvious reasons. Uh, but once you proclaim somebody to be a monster, there's re really no way to uh, look into the way in which uh, that particular person evolved into a status of, of being an evil and horrible horrible person. And we need to move the, the um, dial back a little bit from the actual act to try to understand how these people are recruited, how their mindset develops. And uh, I think and that, radicalized. that would help in the general process of protection. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the radicalization process, which is, you know, which is, is tragic and fascinating at the same time. Uh, James Reston, so nice having you on the show. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, the book, The 19th Hijacker, is available now, a novel coming out, uh, uh, coming up at the top of the hour. We'll have a little bit more on uh, the 9-11 attacks. James Reston, nice to have you on. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.